Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Keys, and today we're going to look at the LVOA-C high-end assault rifle in the division. This is a real-world weapon developed by War Sports Industries, and it's based on the AR-15 carbine frame. This is almost a mirror image of the M4 and Liberator uh, assault rifles that are in the game. The big difference between these is that um, with this particular one, the LVOA-C, you're going to have an easier time controlling the uh, kick of the weapon. I have a significantly improved handling with very little horizontal drift and it can really sustain stability with the automatic fire rate. Um, now this does a base rate of fire of 850 and a magazine of 30. You can see that the damage on mine is 7837. My rate of fire is bumped up to 1087 and my mag is bumped up to 57. You can notice the accuracy on this is much higher and this really helps you through easy firing on an entire clip um, without having much kick or sway. On mine I have predatory, I have talented, and I have commanding. Um, I do like predatory, talented, I'm, I'm not too fussy on but you know they're pretty helpful. I think if I use this, this more often I just mod my health so that I have increased stamina. Uh, but the mods that I have on this particular weapon are an extended magazine which has a larger magazine size and rate of fire, large optics, which is headshot accuracy or headshot damage and accuracy, a large muzzle, which is accuracy critical hit chance, and a large underbarrel, which is uh, increasing my hip fire accuracy and my accuracy in general. So let's take a look at when we do uh, some close range combat. You can see that this does not kick as much as other assault rifles within the game. Um, there is, you know, obviously still going to be some level of kick, but you know, as you saw in the stat bar for accuracy, it was uh, it's much easier to control. Um, with this gun, I'd recommend doing anywhere from an eight to ten burst fire. Um, that burst fire will allow you not only to, um, you know, control the recoil, but also hit obviously, you know, more headshots and more body shots, uh, you know, increasing your damage. Um, even when you go at long range, such as this here, I'm doing bursts of about you know six to ten bullets, and uh, you know, in all honesty, you can probably do about eight to ten um, without much difference. Just to show you the recoil pattern, so you can see here, it seems like you go up about an inch or less for every um, you know 15 bullets in the magazine. So that should give you an idea if you want to. Um, you know, keep that uh, vertical stability within you know a, a short range for headshots. That that six to ten bullets is really what's going to do it for you. Um, so let's go test this out in some real world. Um, you can see I'm playing PvP or PVE, sorry, right now I'm doing the Amherst Department mission, and I am just cutting people up with this weapon. This weapon is incredible. Um, not only at short range but at long range. You can see these long range shots, and when I'm hitting people in the head, it's doing an immense amount of damage. Now, you know, some people have asked me, do you like using this more than you like using the assault rifle? There's a lot of Reddit posts about the LVOAC being one of the best assault rifles in the game. That's it hands down. When it comes to, you know, do I like this more than the M4? I have a really hard time deciding. The M4 family, so the M4, the classic M4, the Liberator, and there's one other, um, versus the LVOAC is, uh, you know, everything's very, very close. Um, I do like running and gunning and these weapons both do provide me with that option. Uh, the magazine size is very similar, rate of fire is very similar. All in all, as I mentioned, it, it really is almost a mirror of the M4 family. So, you know, when it comes down to making that selection, it, it's, it's pretty tough. I think for you guys, it should come down to, you know, whether you have it or not, for one. Um, to get this weapon, unfortunately, it's not, uh, you know, craftable from a high-end perspective that I know of right now. Um, there is a blueprint available um, that's given to you at, at a superior level that is rewarded once you've uh, finished the encounters and side missions up through uh, Midtown East. Uh, but currently, to my knowledge, there's no high-end um, variant, and that's even you know post-patch 1.1. Uh, um, you can see here that from the close range and uh, and mid and long range, I'm actually able to you know compete quite well. I can take out my enemies very easy. The accuracy and stability of this gun makes it a true contender, not only in PvE, but in PvP. And uh, one thing that I always mention when using assault rifles is to have steady hands on. That's a perk in your talent tree on the second last row at the very top. What that allows you to do is to increase 
um, your gun stability for a short period of time um, once you're in, in cover. So that's extremely helpful when you're looking at assault rifles and uh, looking at um, you know how to increase that accuracy and stability and reduce the vertical and horizontal recoil kicks that you do get. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope uh, you know you do get an LVO one in the in a drop. I got mine from the DZ, um, but they are available in any type of you know high end drop. So that could be challenge mode, could be off a of boss, could be in the DZ, or could be in supply crates. So guys, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.